Hey guys, it's that random dude and today I'll be showing you how to install the PSP Homebrew Browser on your Vita now. What the PSP Homebrew Browser is, is essentially the PS Vita Homebrew Browser but for PSP eBoots and stuff so I recommend getting this from the PSP Homebrew Browser, link will be in the description. Uh, so you just want to open up the Vita Homebrew Browser. And it should be in utilities. I'll just quickly show up. I'll just quickly show it here. It's taking a while. Yep, um, very common problem with uh, thingy. Can see my face. What's up, guys? <laughs> anyway, oh, some new things there. Okay, whatever. Um, that's a size point. Anyway, so if you want to quickly go down to where it is, where is it? Oh, here it is. The PSP Homebrew Browser. So yeah, just a hand card application to help with some PSP Homebrew. It's one under adrenaline. So. You are going to need adrenaline, I almost forgot to say that. You will need adrenaline, which means you will need to be at like 3.65 or 3.60 e custom firmware. So keep that in mind. Um, there's many tutorials on how to like downgrade. I'm not going to it right now, but yes, yeah, so you just want to install that and it should pop up here. Here we are, PSP Home Browser. You just want to click Start. Stout. Alright. And there it is, PSP Homebrew Browser. So here we are, so you got all these sort of applications, you got the apps, games, utilities, ports and emulators. Kind of like the Vita store. So you got some of these here. Um, keep in mind this is for Adrenaline, so yeah. You got all these sort of games and stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll download one. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's a glitch. Okay. I'm just going to install Flappy Bird, because why not? Just want to click that, click click the download button. And if you want to take a look at your downloads, it will appear right there, Flappy Bird. And it should be done soon. It is a very small file, 10 megabytes. Um, I suppose you can install as many as you like. So you got all these um the emulator wow so yeah the emulators are kind of pointless though because you can, you can just get retro on your vita so kind of pointless but yeah, it is installing now compared to the vita homebrew browser there's like far less stuff here in terms of apps, there's really not much. In terms of the games, there's a bit here. Yeah, so there we go, Facebook is complete. So you wanna, oh, you've always got your, you always got your settings. So you can do all that. You can sort out all those things. And there's even a link to the Vita Home Group browser here. So you just wanna click out of that, go to your adrenaline, there it is, 6.61 Adrenaline. Just wait for it to open up. And your homebrew. Alt focus. For fuck's sake. And your homebrew should appear in, under your game folder. And there it is, Flappy Bird. That's exactly why I installed. So, just to make sure it works, let's open it up. And boom, there we go. Oh, why, why is the bird white? Should be yellow. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's fluffy bird. Um, so yeah, um, so that's how you use the PSP Homebrew browser on your Vita. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed and I will oh make sure to like and subscribe for more content daily content or basically content and I will see you guys later bye